Now it's time for OK Stop. Mm -hmm. Here's how it works. We roll a clip, and whenever we want, we can say OK Stop to comment. Do you remember The Godfather, how Vito was so disappointed because all he wanted was his son to achieve the American dream, but there wasn't enough time? Well, what if Vito didn't give a shit because he was an asshole and all of his sons were Fredo? <laughs> Eric Trump recently stopped by Fox News. <laughs> you knew there was a point there somewhere. <laughs> and uh, he stopped by Fox News to talk with Jesse Waters. And these two Fredos had quite a conversation about his father's midterm strategy. Let's take a look. I love the line, I think you said it on Twitter the other day, jobs versus mobs. Yeah. And that's a great way to frame the election. You know why he got jobs back and Obama couldn't? Because he's a businessman. He's a okay, practical... Stop. How do we, um, how do we deal with this, this incredibly powerful message? <laughs> <laughs> I will just say that Obama created more jobs in the last two years of his presidency than Trump has in the first Ooh. two years of his presidency. That's not what Eric said. That is not <laughs> what Eric said. That is not what Eric said, but I, um, it's a fact. I've come up myself with a response to, uh, jobs not mobs. What is it? It's a, a line I came up with. Not it's, it. it's wages not cages. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a line I came up with, right? Not Travis. Travis is Thank so you, mad. <laughs> Who's Travis? Let's keep moving the clip. Guy, and he's fought, and he's had backbone, and he's gone to war, and he's okay, made stop. this happen. So he's fought, and he's had backbone, and he's gone to war. Has what war? What bones first? Bones first lives. What war did Donald uh, Trump go to? Oh, the trade war that he's waged on the farmers in the Midwest, which is why he had to give him a bailout. That war? Maybe that's the war. He said that avoiding sure. venereal disease was his Vietnam. Oh. Twice. <laughs> Everyone has their struggle. Yeah, we all. Yeah. The country is doing amazingly well. We're the envy of the rest of the world now. Everybody wants to be American. Okay, stop. You know, he's an... Donald Trump was just laughed at by the entire world <laughs> at the United Nations. Literally the whole world. The whole, literally the whole world laughed at him. The whole world <laughs> flew to New York <laughs> <laughs> to laugh at Donald Trump. Also, <laughs> there's so many things that these people say that used to be scandal. Remember when Michelle Obama spent like a year dealing with her conservative saying, when she said this thing, like, I'm proud of my country? The first time in my life. The first time in life, I'm proud of my country. And everyone said, how dare you? America's been perfect for 236 right. fucking years. Right. Perfect from the start, from the jump. <laughs> how dare you, you two people? You're not even from here. Eric going around saying that finally, Finally, everything Finally. is different now Finally, that, we're that we're, we're, America is good. You know, America, we got a businessman in the White House. Finally, America is the envy of the world, as if we weren't before. It's a dog whistle also. He's literally, yeah. it's an affront to the first black president. That's true. Mm. Unlike Amazing him. guy. He's a results-driven guy, right. and, and, and that's what America picked, and we need more business people in Washington. Honestly, these swamp creatures. <laughs> the okay, <swamp> stop. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most corrupt cabinet that has ever been all appointed. business people. Oh, yes. all, it's also like, look at this guy. <laughs> like He's trying to grow a beard. You don't like I, the beard? The, I mean, <laughs> that, that this just is, wasn't a funny joke. It's an un creatures. That's not original. That's not funny. Don't laugh at that. Come it's, on. It's the uncanny valley of beards. And <laughs> Donald Trump, not a fan. But what if you took Donald Trump and made him a little weaker? A little softer, a little dumber, yeah. and with no charisma. There we go. You would end up with their sons. <laughs> and it is such an affront to all of us that these two people are on television having a conversation. Television used to mean something. And I thought they weren't involved in the administration. Like, they keep getting on television yes. talking about administration policy. Yeah. You're supposed to be running the business. That's exactly right. The whole point of this was Donald Trump has unprecedented conflicts of interest. And the, so he was going to put his favorite child, mm -hmm. Ivanka, in the government. And his two sons, Tweedledum and Tweedledumber, <laughs> in the business. And yet, what Trump, Eric Trump does his entire time talking about what is related to the business, which yeah. is keeping Donald Trump president so they right. can keep. Feels very swampy, experiment. Dan. Feels, Feels very swampy. Feels like something a swamp creature would do, yeah. if you will. I would say two things. One, money laundering, you can do it in the morning and still have time <laughs> to make it over to the five. Uh, <laughs> the second thing I'd say is, I do in some sense feel for, for Eric Trump because he is on this television to try to get something that he cannot have, which is the love of his father. True. Uh, <laughs> Donald Trump doesn't... Do we think this is on his TiVo? On uh, uh, Trump's TiVo? I it's think he texts his dad. Waters interview he he fast-forwarded through this. I think yeah. he texts his dad. I think... <laughs> I get me Lou Dobbs. He get me Lou Dobbs. Eric. He's like, I can't believe this, but I actually like Don more than this one. Uh, <laughs> but he texts his dad and he says, Dad, I'm gonna be about to be on. 
<laughs> watch me. Please watch me dive. Roll. Dad, watch me dive. <laughs> I, I think Trump is like tequila. He always wins. Okay. okay. Uh, Unless okay. it's Jose. Are you really winning with the Jose? Like, Trump is definitely not the Mezcal. He's like the Jose Cuervo. I think, <laughs> I think if you drink tequila, you get drunk? Yeah, like, isn't, isn't, the, doesn't, isn't that what that means, that Trump is like tequila? He will fuck up your shit no matter what you <laughs> do. <laughs> and and you'll, you'll take maybe a little sip, and before you know it, you'll wake up in the morning and you've lost everything. <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't follow the metaphor, but Jesse Waters is like a fraternity foam party come to life. That guy <laughs> is the worst has become a mob, the vast majority of them. You see Antifa, you see them lighting pickup trucks on fire, you mm -hmm. see them yelling at people in restaurants when they're going out to a nice dinner with their wives, so one, you know, the one day a week. Okay, stop. Ted... I love this, like... One day a week. Mitch McConnell and... Elaine Chow. Elaine Secretary Chow. of... Transportation. Transportation, Elaine Chow. <laughs> they have a jar uh, in their house for going out night, and... <laughs> They put a dollar or two in, uh, and then at the end of the week, they take the jar, they open it up, and they go over to a, to a nice restaurant. A cheesecake factory. And if they're lucky, they get, what the cheese. fuck are you talking about? Well, also, by the way, it's a little bit sexist, isn't it? The only people who go out to, the, the people in power are men, and they bring their wives. Okay. Did you like, catch it? No. Okay. But, like, where, where are we as a society if Mitch McConnell can't go out and have his daily dose of human blood in peace? <laughs> <laughs> Civility! You saw, you saw what happened. Yeah, they're making Ted Cruz look Man. like a sympathetic they're scratching character. Scratching okay, Supreme Court. <laughs> Legitimately funny line from Jesse Waters. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so in tune right. with Jesse Waters in my I, life. That's fascinating. He's a lot, I didn't know you were allowed to say that Ted Cruz has a terrible personality on Fox News. I loved it. It's an, we live in a nightmare. That's okay, stop! <laughs>